Research has shown several fundamental reasons why students tend to find chemistry difficult. One, chemistry is perceived as vague and boring. And this is mainly because its instructions are not easily related to the familiar world outside of school. Imagine someone saying that a table salt is a binary compound of sodium and chlorine and that it ionizes in water to produce sodium ions and chloride ions. An inquisitive learner could ask, where are those ions? Well, more than other sciences, chemistry demands learners' ability to make concrete meaning out of abstract, invisible, and imperceivable concepts. Another reason why perhaps students tend to find chemistry difficult is because of the volume of the course. The use of the traditional lecture method of teaching remains the most sought after as it enables a quicker completion of the curriculum. A major shortcoming to this method, however, is that it lowers greatly the level of student involvement in the process of learning, whereby learners assume a non-thinking role. Research showed that in an average of a 15-minute lecture, the lecturer delivers about 5,000 spoken words, out of which students record only 10%. You feel that is bad, right? Other visual learners and visual learners acquire even much less. I made bold to say that qualitative learning should not be sacrificed for any reason, not even on the author of syllabus expediency or the teacher's conveniences. Finally, many subject teachers also fail to sufficiently dwell on making students understand the meaning of terms used to teach or test students in chemistry. Without a well above average knowledge of general chemical languages, Reading chemistry tests frankly, let alone ascribing meaningful interpretations to the content, remains impossible. Research proved that many low exam marks in science subjects were actually due to the failure to understand the language of the questions. Also, the obnoxious way and manner in which chemistry is taught traditionally in many of our schools, with learners having little to no practical understanding of the course raised the problem of understanding more significantly. On fascinating chemistry tutorials, I propose to strategically facilitate students' conceptual understanding of the course. FCT is premised on the philosophy that effective learning of the course be achievable when both learners and teachers slow down. If a learner can play back an audio-visual, detailed, practical, and theoretical discourse on each topic with standard and challenging tasks to dissect at personal pace and comfort outside the uneven potentials in the classroom where teachers rush in and out, then outstanding success can be guaranteed. Also critically on fascinating chemistry tutorials, I stand as a proponent of a greener climate in a bid to save the world and all that is in it. So going forward, many things can change from what you're seeing at the moment, but definitely not the color of my tie. So if you find this fascinating well enough, kindly click on the like button below this video and subscribe to my channel to receive first-hand notification on any updates. This will go a long way in propagating this intellectual outreach. You can also drop your comments in the comment section below for your recommendations and commendations. Also reach out to me through the links to my social media handles provided under this video. Thank you very much for your time and interest. See you in the next Greener episode.